right, so a little bit into owning this DJI Phantom for about a month now that I've been having it. This is just a clip right here in the morning where my wife is just messing around with the recording function on the DJI. It takes really good photos and videos as you can see. I had this video setting set to about 1080, 1920, somewhere there. But pretty good footage here as you can see, it's real clear. Good thing about it is that it's got the gimbal on it so it's going to make for steady video recording. She's just messing around on the camera right here. In the next clip here I was just showing some friends of mine the picture quality and how good it flies. This is actually in sports mode where it just takes off into the sky. It was just about 45 miles an hour that it's flying up, <laughs> capturing the city. and then. From there, I put it into active track mode where it would follow me around. Now, DJI, I heard, has released the Phantom 4 Professional version where not only it has the active tracking mode, it also has obstacle collision sensors on all five of the sides of the drone. Currently, the Phantom 4 only has the sonar sensors on the bottom and the front of the drone. So if there was some kind of a backward flight and there was some kind of an object behind, it would be hard for it to detect it. This is where I was testing out the DJI Phantom Force collision sensors. I was just flying it right into the building here and it would just stop about a couple feet away from it because the sensors, uh, they, they detected that there was an object in front of it. It wouldn't let me fly anywhere further. I was holding the joystick throttle up trying to fly into the building but it wouldn't let me do it so that's a good safety precaution <coughs> good video quality as you can see the next thing just taking a shot from the sky getting in the nice intersection and you can see all the cars